Hello Makers! So, last week I showed you how the completed mural in terms of parts would look like. Now it's time for me to get to work to actually mount it up on the wall. But, I don't want to just mount it up and, you know, put a piece of wood underneath it and just, you know, stick it up there. It's, it works, but it's, it's not what I envisioned. So today I'm going to give you an idea of what I plan to do with it. And we're going to use Camino. Wait. Camino to show you what I have in mind. Now the easiest option for me would be to simply stick this straight on the wall, but that's just not fun. I want to incorporate some lights and some more 3D printing and something a bit more fun. This is part number 111 and this is Camino. If you had to look at it from a side here, it would be like that. So we have the part. Now, what I want to do is I want to 3D print kind of like a platform like this. And what's going to happen is over here, I want to create a channel. So this wouldn't be here. And through that channel, I want to throw in LED lights going around all the whole mural. Now for the LEDs, I'm going to be using an RGB LED strip. These are individually addressable, so I can light them up in any way I want to, any color. So that slot in here has to be um, high enough for this to fit in. And also it has to be wide enough for me to be able to bend this into shape. Once I have that ledge done, then the rest here would be plywood, um, which will be kind of like the base where I can insert holes for the screws to go in and hang onto the wall. Um, so that would be the easiest part. Now this shouldn't be too complicated to do. And the reason being is that when Spenner Hands um, designed this thing, he gave me all the Fusion 360 files in order for me to look what's happening and see the design. And therefore I have the original designs. So. What I'm going to do is simply start offsetting the edges of the whole design itself, of the whole mural, just the outside edge. I'm going to offset it five millimeters um, outside of the design itself. Then I'm going to offset uh, 0.2 millimeters or 0.3 millimeters just to give it a bit of tolerance from the edge of the models. The reason being is that it was printed by several different printers from across the world. So tolerances would be different and I have to account for that. Once I offset the edge, then I can simply offset another line once again going inwards. Offsetting the line inwards gives me the, uh, the lines that I need in order to extrude what I need and where in order to be able to pass the LEDs through. Once I have offset all the edges, all I have to do is start extruding upwards on the ledge that will, uh, will sit the parts themselves and also offset downwards of about 11 millimeters just to give me enough space to fit the uh, 10 millimeter plywood which I will use and also the um, pretty much about 10 millimeters worth of LED strip thickness. Once I have extruded everything all I need to do is simply print the part. Now here's the fun part. I'm not just printing this in any PLA, I'm printing this in glow-in-the-dark filament. I am using a Printer Pro glow-in-the-dark filament. I'm also using my Mark III which has an also Ruby nozzle installed onto it so it's not going to damage the nozzle at all because just in case you don't know glow-in-the-dark filament has some particles inside which do eat away at copper nozzles. So um, you might see degrading of printing quality if you constantly use glow in the dark filament on normal copper nozzles. Now the thing with this is that while I'm recording or while the lights are on glowing the outer edges, what's going to happen is that the printed parts in glow in the dark would have absorbed the light of the LEDs and once you switch off, it's just going to sit there and glowing. Um, it's going to have the outline glowing, which is going to be absolutely awesome, at least in my mind. As you can see, the printed part um, looks, looks quite good. The top fits perfectly. And if I can just take this little model here, as you can see, they perfectly fit. The only problem here is that when I offset the lines, I simply offset, I didn't do anything else. And what happens is that in some corners, it gets very tight to bend the, uh, the LED strip. And in some other corners, 
it's exactly where the LED hits, so I can't really bend that. And also I don't want too much of a severe kink because I don't want those to break off. So what I did is, instead of just offsetting the inner line in order to create the channel, I just used the spline tool uh, in Fusion 360 and I roughly did a design around the edges and that resulted in this. So as you can see, I have much more space on the inside and the LED strips fit much better. Next thing to do is grab uh, an Arduino Uno. In my case, Elegoo were generous enough a while back to send me this Elegoo starter kit, which has all the Arduino parts and breakout boards and breadboards. So it's, it's gonna make my life much easier. So as a test, what I'm going to do, I'm just simply going to wire the lights around this part that I printed. Um, it only takes three wires. You have the ground and the uh, positive five volts wire and also the, um, the signal pin, which goes into the Arduino. Once those three wires are soldered on, I simply used three uh, cables, which I had in the starter kit. I cut off one end so I can expose some wire and simply solder those on to the LED strip. Um, after measuring the length, I, I found out that I have 18 uh, LEDs on this strip. It's very important to note the number of LEDs because that has to be inserted into the code um, when you program the Arduino or not. So as you can see here, I don't have several kinks to go and I have more than enough space to kind of turn this to the shape um, and bend so it fits perfectly fine. Next is to get a random or a sample um, sketch online which just simply colors the, uh, the LEDs, just lights them up. I just want to test how this looks. Um, one thing to note is that when you solder wires on an, uh, on an RGB LED strip, it's very important to note the direction. Uh, some of these have actually a direction and the first time I soldered them, they wouldn't work until I realized that I have to follow the arrow that's printed on the LED strip. So um, yeah, fixing that, I hooked it up, I switched it on, and it worked beautifully. As you can see, the effect looks absolutely crazy. So once I figured that that's working, it's looking amazing. I downloaded, I went onto a site, I downloaded a more complex um, LED pattern to upload onto the Arduino. Apart from those three cables, you can also use one of these push button switch, which also happened to be in the Elegoo starter kit, a couple more jumper wires. And what happens is that you have all these different kinds of um, LED patterns that you can use. Um, and you can switch through them by just simply clicking on the uh, push button on the breadboard. And as you can see, the, the results, oh man, I'm, I'm so excited, I'm so happy that this worked out so much better than I could have possibly imagined. Um, the effect is going to be absolutely amazing. Uh, it's it's just going to be it's just going to be an incredible community project. Now, in the meantime, as you can see, I've printed many more parts. Uh, this, for example, is Gozo, and I have to remind myself that I need to number these parts. So this would go here, and this would go there. And this sits here. Here, this goes here. Now that would be the outline of Gozo. Now, once I glue this together, uh, the only thing I have to do is simply put this on a piece of plywood, a one centimeter thick plywood. I'm gonna draw an outline of the inside of this and then just cut it with a jigsaw which would then fit together and then just simply put some hot glue for it to just stay in place and when I need to attach it to a wall I'm basically going to be attaching the plywood to the back and um, I, I, what I'll do I'll do some notches or hangers on the back so it just hangs on the wall so if I need to take it out I can uh, if I need to fix anything on the uh, on the LEDs if something goes out I can as well so yeah, I'm really, really excited about this. If you guys are interested in starting any Arduino projects, which I highly recommend, it's, it's so awesome to have the tools of 3D printing and Arduino together, they just go so well. Um, Elegoo have been generous enough to give me some discount codes, which you can use on Amazon US and UK. I will leave them in the link uh, in the video description. That is it from my end. Next time you'll see anything related 
to this mural. It'll be when it's done and ready to go up. So I'm, I'm truly excited. I'm hoping they'll be ready in a couple of weeks. So I cannot wait. That is it for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications. And as always, happy making guys.